Wednesday morning, Huawei hosted Open Cloud Summit to present their vision for an open cloud based communications network. Eric Xu, rotating CEO of Huawei, emphasized that just like IP technologies did before, cloud computing is changing the landscape of telecom. Afterwards, there were some presentations in a panel where we had a chance to get some industry perspective. So the Open Cloud uh, Summit today uh, really uh, brought together a lot of different perspectives on what's going to influence this, uh, this um, development or phenomena in, in, in operators. Uh, it was really uh, very good hearing from Huawei. Highlighting the possibilities of this transformation, Huawei also signed an MOU with Telefonica on advancing the Unica infrastructure architecture, SDN and NFB. Today, I spent my time getting updates on Softcom. If you don't know, Softcom is Huawei's end-to-end -end cloud based network infrastructure solution. It's based on new technologies like SDN, NFB, cloud computing, big data, and network openness. Now, currently, the Softcom, we define the Softcom to reconstruct the whole telco industries. That you were including the, in the architecture reconstruct because the whole network is built it in the cloud-based data centers. And we'll in introduce NFE and SDN new technology in this architecture. We have demonstrating a very good storyline, the philosophies. But this year, we have brought the real equipment and solution here. Basically, we have already been able to provide the pla platform and the whole architecture. And also, we're looking for some interesting application on top of that virtualized platform. For instance, M2M, right? How are we going to provide a virtualized M2M with a very, very um, low cost? Well, it's the last day here at the impressive Huawei Pavilion at Mobile World Congress, and it's been a success for Huawei and its customers alike. I believe that the, the, the key point is that ICT is moving into uh, data analytics and data mining of, uh, of, of the client base and using that information and how we interact with the client, not just on mobile, but in the different kind of technologies and how that is fed back into the, into the network design and into you know, marketing campaigns and service operations center is really an eye-opener, I would say. For us, 5G has not to be only an improvement of throughput, but as well an additional solution of many issues we have, like, uh, for example, um, communication of uh, high throughput that needs to be uh, available everywhere, or um, uh, management of uh, the power consumption, or uh, management of the machine-to-machine -machine equipment. So it's more than a simple new interface. They're about to start tearing down the displays, so we'll wrap up for this year. But with all the solutions and technologies we got to look at, we'll anticipate an exciting Mobile World Congress in 2015. We'll see you next year.